Grayson. Yeah. 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 Poor old Grayson. He's in a pile of poo right now. He's been betrayed by his friend and arrested by his team at the Traitor Among Us. Ooh. 20th of October. Oh, he's not happy. Prisoner stands accused of the most heinous crimes. It's a good word, heinous. Sir Galahad has betrayed our ancient trust. No, he hasn't. More than this, <gasps> he has conspired with godless rebels. Ooh. Adding to he's his really litany upset. of evil, he has presumed to take the life of our you saw Chamberlain, Lord Hastings. Sir Galahad is a base traitor. No and honor or scruple. I ask the council to impose the supreme penalty. I beg the council's indulgence. Oh, shut up. Let us not forget Sir Galahad's service to this order over the centuries. Centuries? He's been around for ages. Perhaps our brother knight can be saved. Huh. <laughs> you and little put onto the righteous path. Sod. The knight commander shows too much leniency. The proof against the traitor is Irrefutable. Hmm. Oh, what's this? I saw Sir Galahad in the company of the rebel leader. I was too far away to hear them clearly, but they seemed on familiar terms. But jealousy, hell hath no fury. They were leaving an establishment known to harbor rebels. Sir Galahad sought an audience with the Lord Chancellor and me. He hurled a number of senseless accusations at the United India Company and seemed intent on finding Lord Hastings. Oof, oof. Bring in Lord Hastings. <sighs> Lord Hastings. He's recovered very well, hasn't he? I identified the prisoner as your assailant. Sir Galahad infiltrated our headquarters late night. Accompanied by the rebel leader and her followers. I could not be sure that the man I was following was Sir Galahad until... I found his coat. Discarded near the rebel hideout. Is he... As his commander, I tried to dissuade him from pursuing his allegations. You bugger. So clear he did not heed my advice. They incapacitated several of my guards. Murdered is the word, actually. Entered my chambers, intent on killing me. We found Lord Hastings wounded by the prisoner's hand. He must stand condemned by his own actions. Oh, facial animations are very good, aren't they? How do you find for the prisoner? Guilty. No, oh, you bugger. You know I'm innocent. Guilty. That's not anything to defend himself, though. Guilty. That's an awful lot of evidence, though, so perhaps saying, It was vampires! would sound a bit churlish. Guilty. Oh, dear. Guilty. God, it's just the subtleness Guilty. of the movements in the face. They're amazing, aren't they? He's pleased about it. Guilty. Why? Is he in on it, too? Guilty. Poor Galahad. He's a good man. I mean, a murdering swine, but he's a good man. Guilty. Oh, is he? Take it on faith. He's not sure, is he? I like Lafayette. I think he's going to be a mate. Guilty. He's got to say that. The evidence is irrefutable. He burned down the big warehouse. Poor Galahad. No, not my black water. The sentence is death. Ooh. Poor Galahad. Oh, we're back at the beginning, right? <clears throat> so this is going to be kind of hopefully just a little montage, and I won't have to play it again. Pick it up. Come on, you picky tap. And the drink. Stab him in the neck. Punch him in the face. Oh. So 
remember in this bit, Lafayette actually fired a shot. Dibley missed and told him to surrender himself and gave him time to get away. So I think Lafayette might, <clears throat> might be on his side. I'm as good as dead already. Sploosh! Now what? He's in the drink. Chapter 13. Between life and death. Oh, it's the hooded man. Gently, my friend. Is that? Oh, that's Tesla. Oh, dude. So the scientist was the person I talked about earlier on, Lakshmi, or Devi, or Rani, or whatever her name is, uh, mentioned the scientist to try for Galahad. Here we go. That's the scientist. He's been working for the rebels and for the order. And they're both fighting towards the same goal, isn't it? Aren't they? Suppose our good man, Nicola. He's our Q, isn't he? That's essentially what Nicola is. He's going to be the Q for the order. Well, not going to be the order necessarily. You can't see Galad getting back there, you see that? <clears throat> so I'm not sure when I start interacting with the game again. I've been watching so far. I mean, it's been compelling watching. I reckon that's King Arthur. I really reckon that's going to be King Arthur. Oh! Blackwater! Ah, uh, Nicola, dude. I wonder who the new Sir Galahad's going to be. Two oh. days. It has already been two days. We cannot leave him here like this. I have to mm. do what I can. He's done what he can. Mmm. Oh, he's been there with me for two days, Nicola. If you get through this ordeal. Yeah, call upon me, because I want to know what the merry hell's going on, sunshine. My friend, you must stay with us. Sir Galahad! Oh, oh dear. Sir Galahad! 26 days of that blooming egg. He really is poorly, isn't he? Oh, that's me. You were right to bring me here, Nicola. There's not much more I can do. All of London is looking for me. So they are. Mm. We will take care of him. Mm -hmm. Time will tell if you will make it through. True enough. I imagine I do. 30, that God, four days later. Do not be a fool, Nicola. I do not have a choice. If I am gone too long, they will suspect something. What if they already know? You have helped enough. Let us handle matters from now on. Yeah. There is still so much for me to do, Lady Lakshmi. Please, take care of him. Mm. I fear that without him, we do not stand a chance. Well, I am pretty hard, you know. Hard as nails, me. And have a magnificent moustache, which is very important. Oh, I'm not well. I'm not well. <laughs> Second day of December, my. So I think that's around about a whole ten minutes of cutscene, so we're still in them. Uh, this looks promising. Lakshmi. Well, Knight, you're not one to give up so easily. No, I'm not. I'm the man. Am I? You're at a safe house on the embankment. You've been in and out of consciousness for almost a fortnight. Mm. But come, we must make our way back to Whitechapel. The authorities are searching for you everywhere. Uh. How did you find me? You must thank Nicola. He brought you here and sought my help. There's some awkward pauses in the dialogue sometimes, aren't there? How do you know Nicola? And sought. My help, or whatever I will it was. Let him explain his involvement in our affairs. Okay. Nicola left you these. He thought you would appreciate them. We got.
Got some clothes. Oh, there's a pocket watch. There is um, Percival's pocket watch there. That's nice. Am I going to have to pick them all up and examine them? Got this black water. Oh, you've got to have your knife. That's an awesome knife. Call that a knife? No, that's a knife. If you get that reference, you're as old as me. Oh, looking sharp. Come, let's go. Oh no, am I going to have to... Oh god, does this mean I can't take cover if there's any combat? It was bestowed on me. Ooh. You mean to say, a knight? Sir Bors de Ganis. Sir Bors de Ganis, I'm going to have to look him up. The search for the grail. Ooh. So he lives in East India. I did not say he lived in the grail. Uh, so the Bors, I'm going to have to look him up, because he's obviously something to do with the original Knights of the Round Table. Uh-oh. Come here, Troy. Just what he's worried about. Oh, I've got my nice shoot me in the face really quick gun. Got ya. Let's do that. Oh, boom! Right, okay, because I bet you I can't take cover. Let's hit. No, I can't take cover. Because I'm holding a lamp, I can't take cover. Oh, where, 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 where? Come on, boys, pop your head out. I'm not going to muck about with these dudes. Okay, uh, I'm going to see if I've got, I would imagine, oh, what's that? Excellent. Yeah. Got you in the face. Right, I'm going to run, can I run? Oh, here we go. Oh, missed it. I missed the blooming exploding barrel. <laughs> Twice. Oh, let's take cover. Oh, cover, he says. Duck behind a crate. God, neutralize. Right. Whitechapel is this way. Okay. Oh, hello, is he? Gosh, there's got a lot of blood on that bed. She's not happy, is she? Green. There is evidence of a few people having been here. Sir Galahad must have had help. Of course he must. Get word to the council that we have tracked the convict. Hmm. Tell every able knight to converge towards Whitechapel. Yes, my lady. Oh dear. God be my witness. I will see to the end of the rebellion. Oh dear. I reckon, if you get this reference, that she might become Galahad's Javert. Javert's from Le Mose Rabla. He, he pursues Everyone, Jean Valjean please. throughout his life, obsessed with him. And I've got a horrible feeling that the lovely Lady Agrain no. is going to become a bit of that. Certainly, in sequels, I can't see this uh, necessarily having a resolution in this game, because I'm pretty sure I'm not that far from the end. We need to leave. It is only a matter of time until the... Can and go. I have unfinished business at the palace. Uh-oh. Lost your senses. The palace is the last place you should show yourself. I have uh. to get Nicola out of there. I owe him that much. True enough. Alistair knows you. 
He'll expect you to come. I know. Oh. Yeah. Then we will go together. <clears throat> no. This is a fight that I must see through alone. If I live to see tomorrow, I shall find you. So be it. Right. <laughs> Do you not know? I am a knight no longer. Ah, oh, poor Galahad. <sighs> There's lucky bricks. Not, uh oh. But are you a turncoat or a patriot? What would you uh. have me be, Marquis? I believe you have reason for what you do. Oh, Lafayette, you dude. Two revolutions have taught Lafayette that there are dangers on both sides. Hmm. And I will not forget this, Marquis. See that you do not, Monsieur. <sighs> Should you threaten the cause of liberty, you can count on Lafayette to be your sworn enemy. Fair enough. Adieu, Monsieur. Until we meet again. That we will, my friend. Cool. Yeah, dude. Like Lafayette. Oh, House of the Parliament. It will save a life. Westminster Bridge, City Westminster. Leaving us so soon. No, oh, Debbie. Debbie. So you do remember my name? There is much I should explain to you. I should have trusted you long ago. There's no time for pleasantries. It seems you are eager to get yourself killed. You must make this right, whatever the cost. Fair enough. Then take this. Oh, thank you. Gone. Oh, and do come back in one piece. It seems my queen has taken a liking to you. Hey, you're in there, son. Nice. Such a ladies' man, right? I'm going to get to Tesla's lab, but I'll be getting to Tesla's lab in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. As always, like, favorite, and subscribe. Do all of the sociables, and I will catch you next time. Bye bye for now.